Hello, hammock campers, you big bunch of weirdos, yeah? Come on, admit it, you know you're weird, hanging around in trees while all those normal people are sleeping on the ground in tents. Well, lucky for you, I'm here to show you how to use the DD jungle hammock, this is the super light jungle hammock, as a ground dwelling, so you too can feel normal. Aren't you glad I came along? The first step when making a camp on the ground is to clear the ground of debris and anything that might puncture your gear or cause you an uncomfortable night's sleep. You wouldn't have to do that hanging from a tree, would you? But hey ho, let's get going. You'll also notice that I have mud stains on my knees. That's something you miss out on as a hammock camper. If you want to feel normal, camp on the ground, kneel on the ground, ruin your clothes. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so I've got DD's modular super light jungle hammock here. It usually comes with the waterproof layer on the bottom, which is where you need it for ground camping. Although I advise having a spare that you can also put on the top in case it rains. I've been using this as a hammock because I'm a weirdo like you guys. So the layer, the waterproof layer is currently on the top, but you'll get the idea. I'll set it up and I'll show you how it works anyways. It's pretty straightforward. Here's the instructions you get in the pack, by the way. I think I mentioned them in my last video. Full of handy hints and tips. It's about three, three sides of A4. Right? These guys really care about you. Tree straps, won't need them. Tent poles, we will need these because we're pretending to be tenters. And here's the rest of the gear coming out now. Just put that with my tree straps. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Keep these to one side for the moment. Find one end, separate it from the other end, and then shake it out. Difficult in the wind. Again, not a problem with the hammock. You may need to put something down if it's windy like it is today to weight it like those other normal people do. Or alternatively, you could just hang from a tree, but we'll, we'll stick to the plan. So, I should have brought tent pegs with me. Uh, they don't come in the super light kit, but they do come Dee Dee's other kits. Uh, but I forgot to bring them, so you're just gonna have to imagine. Imagine that you're putting a stake through there and fixing it here. And imagine that you're putting a stake through there, the outermost nubbin, I don't know what you call that, grommet, outermost grommet. Putting it through there, and we do the same on the other side. And then you get your tent poles. Set them up the same way you would, so it forms a nice arch, and you push it through the same channels as you would if you were hammock camping, like a weirdo. Now it's gonna be less easy to see what I'm doing because I've put that waterproof layer on the top. So I'm just gonna shift that around so you can see what's going on. And then you would clip this through the inner of the two grommets. So you've got your peg in the outer one, your arch in the inner one, and that happens on both sides. I mean, this is the ultimate in no trace camping, don't you think? Okay, so same deal. It threads through the channel. I'm sorry to make you watch this, but you know, uh, I haven't already set one up. This is my very first time setting it up. I'm just showing you how, how easy it's gonna be. So I might get it wrong. <laughs> Again, this waterproof layer should be on the bottom because this is a very thin super light layer. You want something else under there. <clears throat> it goes into the innermost grommet on this side and the same on this side. So now you've got your two arches and your legs pinned out. So you've got, pin, you've got stakes in the outermost grommets, your legs in the innermost grommets, you've got this nice arch. And you just need to 
get some more stakes and pin them through. Remember when we set up the jungle hammock, you, you tie some elastic from the middle tab here out to the suspension. Well, you want to tie that out to a stake instead. On my other jungle hammock, what I've done is replace this knot with a carabiner, which makes it really easy to use on the ground or in a tree. But because I've only had this a few days, I haven't done that. But the basic idea is to pin it out and peg it out. And once you've got that, let me just get rid of this waterproof layer. You can see that it's really quite spacious. See what I mean? <clears throat> okay, I felt bad there. I wasn't prepared. I didn't have any stakes. So I've, I've turned some of the debris on the ground into stakes and set it up for you to see. Have a look. Ta-da! I've switched the um, waterproof layer underneath because I am worried about puncturing that, that super light, thin layer. But obviously, you want to bring a spare with you to cover you over the top as well. Not entirely necessary when you have a camping. You just need one tarp, either one of these layers if it's light rain or just a proper tarp. Uh, so there you go. It's pretty straightforward getting in and out. I'll show you. Uh, with it being not having a proper door, you do have to scramble around and ruin all your clothes, but it is a hammock after all, not a tent. I'm about five foot eight and I fit in quite comfortably. There's a double layer on the bottom of this super light jungle hammock so you can fit your camping mattress in between those layers or just put it in here with you and pop your bag down by your feet. And if it's a nice day like today, this is a far better view than you get from a tent. And if it's not, then just hire your spare waterproof layer over the top. Put your head down and get some sleep. <sighs> I'm birthing from the cocoon. <sighs> uh, I still prefer to be weird and sleep from a tree. I know it's not always the most comfortable thing and sometimes you have to faff around trying to find the right pitch and yaw and diagonal and all the rest of it. But when you get it right, it's amazing. This is never going to be amazing. I don't know, it, it, it's tent camping, it's not, I, I don't know, maybe I'm biased, but there you go. This can be used on the ground as a quick bivy slash tent. It can be used in the trees as a hammock slash luxurious modular jungle getaway. So I really like it and I hope you do too. All right, that's a wrap. Just real quick, here's another great reason not to sleep on the ground. These are all ants. Look at that, there's loads of them. You think they were berries or something. I appear to have stumbled upon an ant sleepover. So I think I shall move on to a tree. I'm gonna have to stop because there's a plane coming over. Uh, so I really should have come more prepared. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm birthing from the cocoon. <laughs>